Today, I will show you how to maximize the size of your chart window. You see here, I've got an insert book open and I've got the ribbon, I've got the map here, I've got the insert from palette here, I've got the Anisot book connector here, and the only available size for my chart is this small rectangle. I will show you how to maximize the size of this rectangle so that you can have the most space to display your chart and to analyze it. So, first option is to hide the small panels. So here we have three panels. We have the IBM i2 Anisot Book Connector for i3, we have the Insert from Palette, and we have the IBM Anisot Book Connector option or panel. And I could even add a fourth one, which is if I connect to a database. Okay. Okay, so you see my now my chart window is much, much smaller. So I will start to hide the panels. You see for each panel you have on top, you have four buttons. You have the uh, help, you have this button here, and you have a pin. If I click on the pin, you see it's called auto hide. If I click it for the insert from palette uh, panel, it's hidden and it's and where did it go? It went here inside from palette. It went on the right hand side of the screen. And now I can hide this one also data sources. I can hide it. And you see, I've got now inside from palette and data sources. I can hide this panel also always by clicking on this pin. And that's it. And this one. Okay, so this one went on the left. And you see, if I want to show those panels again, I just have to hover the mouse on to, um, above this uh, left or right rectangle and the panel will be displayed. And if I move my mouse outside this panel, the, the panel will hide again automatically. I will show you up, okay? Now, if I want to keep this panel uh, displayed like this, I just have to click again on this pin and it's fixed again. Okay, so I will hide it again. And the same for, for example, data sources. I don't have to click, I just move my mouse over it and it's displayed. If I want to insert from palette, I just move my mouse over it and insert from palette is displayed. So I can lock it or unlock it. Okay, so you see the space is much bigger, but I still have some space that, that I can gain by hiding the ribbon part. To hide the ribbon, you have here on the top right part of the screen, you have th this little arrow here. If I click it, the ribbon is now hidden. And if I want to use the actions or the commands of the ribbons, I just have to click on the menu, for example, analyze, and the ribbon is displayed and I can move my mouse anywhere else, it's still displayed. If I want to hide it again, I just click somewhere else and the ribbon is hidden. So I can go on home, for example. I've got all the commands from home and click again and it's hidden now. Now I can go one step further to make the chart full screen. What I can do is I've got two options. One is in view, make it full screen here. And you see you've got a full tip which says full screen F8. Here, F8. So I can click it here. And now I've got the full screen for my chart. And I've got this thing here, which gives me full screen and close full screen. So if I don't want full screen anymore, I just click on close full screen. And I'm back to normal. And if I press F8, I'm on full screen and F8 again, I'm back to normal. Now, back to the ribbon. If I want to have the ribbon displayed again full time, I just click here on this button and now the ribbon is always on. So I hope that today you will have learned how to maximize your Anisot Book Chart window. Thank you.